In this class, we are going to learn how to import suppliers with the help of using FBDI approach in Oracle Fusion Cloud. First step in importing any data into Fusion Cloud with the help of FBDI approach, we need to have the FBDI template. Now let's look at how we can download the FBDI template. One of the most common method to get the FBDI template is from the Oracle official website. In order to do that, we can make use of any search engine. I'm currently using Microsoft Bing. You can use Google as well. Just write the keyword FBDI import suppliers. You can search for any category based on what data you want to import like the customers and all. Accordingly, you can search for the keyword like FBDI import customer. I'm trying to demonstrate with in this class with the help of importing suppliers using FBDI. So I'm searching with FBDI import suppliers. Now, if you scroll down, there will be a link called https colon slash slash docs dot oracle dot com. This is the official documentation by Oracle for file based data import. We need to click on this. So 22B is the latest release of Fusion Cloud at the time of recording this video. So if you scroll down there, you will find supplier model under that import suppliers. So another way to traverse to this path is once you are in cloud applications, that is Oracle Fusion Cloud application suit this page. If you scroll down, there are all the categories like for ERP, supply chain, HCM. As I am trying to import supplier, it comes under supply chain and manufacturing under procurements. Click on this. So here we need to click on all books. Once the all books page opens up, we need to scroll down. So there will be something called implementation. Under implementation, there is FBDI for Oracle Procurement Cloud. We need to click on this HTML hyperlink. On clicking on that hyperlink, this will also route us to this file based data import for Oracle Procurement Cloud page. What we had traversed from this search engine that is file based data import for Oracle Procurement. So this is another way to navigate to download FBDI template. Now if you scroll down, I am clicking on import suppliers. Clicking on import suppliers, we will get the template that is Excel SM template over here just click on this excel sm hyperlink it will download the excel file to your local computer i have already downloaded this i will open the file and walk you through the details so this is the excel sm file or the excel file which i have downloaded from the official documentation page by oracle i have populated the details over here like the batch id this could be unique for your particular transaction what you do i will show you where this will be used Always at the time of importing any FBDI file, just make sure you are having a unique batch ID. Here in import action, this is a kind of LOV. This could be create or update based on the FBDI file, what you are trying to import. Next will be the mandatory fields which you need to populate like here. It will be displayed with the star, supplier name star, whatever is marked as star, it is a mandatory and we must send the details. In this demonstration, I am just populating only the mandatory details. Like the supplier name, I am populating like test 010203. Also, you can combine create as well as update details as well. Like here, the test 01. If I am updating the details for this supplier, then I will just click on this and select the update. So, right now, I am just creating all the suppliers. I am selecting as create. So, based on the requirement, you can merge the details. So, all will go in a particular batch. Also, you can have n number of batches like LNG002. I can have LNG00 three as well in which I will create a number of suppliers. So all those things will depend on your business use case. Next is the tax organization type. This is a corporation. Next is the supplier type. I'm sending supplier. Those are mandatory in order to import any suppliers. Again, there is a business relationship. This is mandatory. As you can see, there is a star mark over here. So there are two options over here, prospective and spend authorized. We have to select accordingly. I am selecting prospective over here. All those details, customer number, SIC, national insurance number, this you need to import based on your requirement. All those details you can get from the functional consultants who will be working on your projects. And if you are one among the functional consultant, then you will be knowing how to fetch those details. Scroll to the right. There will be taxpayer country. Here I am populating as US and the taxpayer ID. So again, the taxpayer ID will be unique. So this is all the data what I have populated for this demonstration. 
So this first line that is that learning institute test 01 this supplier I have already imported I am adding this in this file because I wanted to show you how the error report will look like when we try to import the data with the help of FBDI. Institute test 02 and 03 are the fresh or the new suppliers which I am trying to create. So this is already present action is create so it should error out. So I will show you how it looks like the error message and how we can debug the issues. Once you populate all the details in POZ suppliers underscore in sheet in this excel sheet we need to click on this instructions and CSV generation. Click on this. Now if you click on this you will get all the details like supplier interface processes allow you to load suppliers from an external system. Basically the FBDI approach is used for the data migrations like if you are importing the bulk of data from one interface to another interface like from Salesforce application if you are trying to import the huge data into Fusion Cloud application then we can go for the FBDA approach instead of going for REST APIs. So these are the tables which it will interact with and if you scroll down there is a section called as loading the data. What it says is after you finish preparing the data we need to click on this generate CSV file because it will generate a zip file and a CSV file. I am clicking on this generate CSV button over here. Now in the pop-up based on your operating system you will get a dialog something similar like this. I am using Microsoft Windows operating system so I am getting a window like this. So we have to select the appropriate path and click on save. Again we will get a pop-up. So this time it is for CSV file. Earlier it was for zip file. Click on save again. We will get a message like CSV and zip file have been created. Now if you again go back to instructions and CSV generation, if you click on this importing the loaded data here you will get the details like what you have to do. After you successfully load your data you must submit the import supplier process in order to import the data into your application table. Okay, I will show you how to do that. You can have a look at this documentation for more details. As you can see it has saved two files in my computer. Let me open this CSV file first and show you how it looks like. As you can see we are having three rows over here or the three records that is for institute test 01, test 02 and test 03 and these are the taxpayer IDs for that respective suppliers and at the end we will get the batch name as well. So the same will be zipped in this zip file. As you can see this is the CSV file which it has zipped. Now we will try to import this into Fusion Cloud instance. I have already logged into Fusion Cloud instance. The first step after logging into Fusion Cloud instance is we need to click on this navigator. Scroll down. We need to go to tools. Under tools we have to go to file import and export option. First of all we have to import that zip file into UCM. So for the account in order to know what is the account it is displayed over here it is the PRC supplier import we need to select the same account. Let me go back. Now let me search for PRC supplier import it's over here select this and if you want to search what and all files we have imported we can click on search just keep it like this now click on plus as we are trying to import we need to select the file from our local computer what it has saved I'm clicking on this choose file button and selecting the file from my local computer I have selected the zip file which it has created on click of the generate CSV file button in excel file now in the account we have to select that PRC supplier import. It's over here. Select this and click on save and close. As you can see our file got imported into UCM server. Now we have to again click on this navigator. Then we have to go for this scheduled processes. All the steps what I am discussing is mentioned in the instructions and CSV under importing and load data. Everything is written over here. Now the next step is we need to click this create new processes. We have to select the type as job. Now in the drop down arrow over here for the name we need to click on this. Go to end and click on this search. Here we have to search for load interface and click on search. We need to select this load interface file for import and click on OK. Click on OK. 
Now in this process details page, we need to click on the arrow button on the right side for import process. Just scroll to the end and there is a search option over here. We need to click on this option. So here we need to search for import suppliers and click on search. Now if you ask me how I know this import suppliers name to be searched in the import process. So it's mentioned it over here importing the loaded data. If you scroll up there it has mentioned the ESS job name that is import suppliers. This is the process for which we need to run that load interface ESS job. So once we get that import suppliers click on this and click on OK. Now in the data file just click on this arrow and it will show the latest file which we uploaded. Again this zip file we can rename if you are working in a shared environment so that you can uniquely identify your zip file. So this is the file. Also you can skip the previous step wherein we had uploaded the file to UCM server that is by directly coming to this load interface file for import ESS job and click on this upload a new file. You can upload a file zip file from here and you can just proceed ahead. So for the demonstration purpose like how we have to upload the file to UCM I had shown that approach. Now let me select this zip file which I uploaded to UCM. Click on this. The name will be visible over here then click on submit. This is the process ID what we get if you want we can save this. I am just clicking on OK. Now refresh this and check whether that load interface file job got succeeded. So this process is ready. Let me refresh. As you can see our load interface file for import job got completed. Now the data that is the supplier data got imported into interface table. In order to move the data from interface table to base table. Now we have to directly run the import suppliers ESS job. In order to do that we need to click on schedule new process. Instead of load interface file for import this time we have to run import suppliers over here. Write this and just click on tab button in your keyboard. Once the process loads click on OK button. So in the pop up we have to provide the batch ID. At the beginning of this class I had told you that we need to provide the unique batch ID and I told I will explain at the end. Now let us get the batch ID from here. So this is the generated CSV file. So in the Excel file it will be at the beginning. So that is over here. I have copied this. Now let me go to browser and paste it over here. Now click on submit. If you want to submit any notes for this submission you can do it over here. And also if you want to get notified at the process ends you can check mark this. And also if you select new all the new entries will be tried to processed. If you select rejected the rejected will, will also be considered for this import job. Now I will select this as new and click on submit. Once again, we will get a process ID. If you want, we can save this for our reference purpose. I am clicking on OK. As you can see, our import suppliers job is ready for execution. Let me refresh. So the chain of processes are going to be invoked. Like as you can see, update suppliers, keyword search, all those things will run in the background. So in our case the first records must fail because I have already imported that as I told and the, these two are the new records. In the report in the final report we should get like one import supplier failed and two suppliers got created and also we will verify those suppliers from the instance. Let me refresh. As you can see the final status is error that is obvious. Let me select this scroll down. So here under attachments you need to click this one more and download this PDF. If you want you can download log file as well. So it has downloaded this PDF. I will click on this open file. As I was saying we should get a message like suppliers not imported one and two got imported. Now let us scroll down and check what got rejected. So it is this test 01 and the reason is enter a unique name. As I told this one I had already imported previously for demonstration purpose how the error looks like I have shown this here. Now if you scroll down we will get the details like these two got imported successfully. Now let us verify from the fusion cloud instance UI whether the suppliers were really created or not. 
so the navigation to check the suppliers will be once you are in the home page we need to go to procurements and click on suppliers again we have to make sure we are having the appropriate roles assigned to our user else you won't find those options under procurement in the springboard now once you are in this suppliers click on this task button on the right side and click on this manage suppliers now let me go to my excel sheet here let me copy the front portion of this supplier name and paste it in the keyword and click on search as you can see we are having three records so test 0203 were imported as part of this class test 01 i had already imported previously so like this we can import the data from one application to fusion cloud instance with the help of fbdi that is bulk data migration so in this class we had seen the manual way how we can do the things with the help of user interface and with the help of browser in our next class we will learn how we can automate this with the help of oracle integration wherein we are going to build an integration which will fetch the details from an application and it will try to create a file that is the zip file and also we will learn how we can make use of erp adapter and import the fbdi file into fusion cloud instance and lot more other stuffs